Hi beautiful humans, welcome back to another video. Today I'm in a super, super big rush. I'm actually running a little bit late and I have a bunch of things to do back to back and basically I'm gonna be running around the city all day. Won't really be home, so I'm not gonna have time to cook and do things like I'd usually do. So I thought I would film a what I eat in a day showing you everything that I eat and I'm not gonna be cooking at all because I unfortunately don't have time to. So it's gonna be a everything not cooked meals, meals that aren't cooked, kind of what I eat in a day video. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you at the end of the day. For breakfast, I had these pre-made oat cups. It's the colorful line from Purely Elizabeth. It's all natural coloring. You guys know I don't mess around with any artificial colors. And I kind of forgot to take a video of the actual pink one that I ate. So I'm showing you guys the blue one and you can kind of imagine what the pink one looks like. I'll put a little picture here. So I just boiled water and I'm just gonna add it to the fill line. I think that's it. I think you just put the cover back on and you let it sit. So while this sits, I'm going to do some emails and get ready for the day. Okay, so it's been steeping for a couple minutes. And then I think you just stir it up. It's not as settled as I thought it would be. It's kind of like still lumpy. Um, so maybe I need to wait a little bit more. But anyway, because I don't have all that much time to wait, um, I'm going to cover it up again. Then I'm going to add this granola on top. One. Later. So it's been steeping for a while. It's definitely gotten thicker. It could use a little more time, but I was kind of impatient. I'm going to add this granola on top that comes in the lid. And then I think I might actually add some extra nut butter. Um, and I never use these packets. Like I have a bunch of these, but I never actually use them. And it's always because I feel like I don't need to use them because it's wasteful and I have like regular jars. But since I am on the go and this is a no cook version, I figured I'll just throw one of these in. And then I might even add some extra frozen raspberries. And then that's gonna be my breakfast. Nothing too spectacular looking, but you know, it's a quick breakfast and the ingredients are great, so yeah. The granola, the nut butter, and please don't judge how these raspberries look, but they've been like in the freezer and like just, they're very sad looking, just don't judge me. So this is gonna be my breakfast, and then I'm gonna head out for the rest of the day. So for lunch, I was actually invited to a vegan pizza tasting. This restaurant called Ribalta Mo actually came out with a couple new vegan pizza options. So the first one we tried was a white pizza with vegan mozzarella and some arugula as well as some spinach i believe actually i think it was broccoli rob um, but it was really really good we also ordered two more the other one we had was their classic vegan one this one's on the menu and it comes with um, mushrooms artichoke and i think it usually comes with olives but neither of us likes olives so no olives <laughs> And then we ordered one more, which is one with a gluten-free crust, vegan mozzarella, cherry tomatoes, broccoli rub, and I think mushrooms too. It's actually really cool. The chef of the restaurant went vegan, which is why they introduced some vegan options because he felt it was only natural. And my personal favorite was the gluten-free crust one with the vegan mozzarella. That cheese was so, so good. I highly recommend you try it out. So as a snack, I have one of my go-to snacks, which is a red bar, and I ate the oatmeal flavor. I love these because they're infused with superfoods, and each bar is super, super high protein, but also very clean. So if you take a peek at the ingredients list, you'll notice that it's all whole food ingredients. I'm personally really impressed. I think it's one of the cleanest bars out on the market, and in my opinion, one of the tastiest too. So it's a win-win here. I have these quite a bit, and I have talked about them before on my channel in previous videos, but the texture is amazing. It's kind of like chewy and has some crunch to it too so highly highly recommend for dinner i went to bear burger which is one of my favorite places to eat out it's actually super healthy and very customizable so i love that and they have incredible vegan options i usually have the tea and then i get my usual burger which is a collard wrap sweet potato burger mushrooms caramelized onions alfalfa sprouts and avocado and it's super delicious they steam the collard wrap so it's not tough it's actually pretty soft and you can really add whatever you like but i highly recommend this combo it's my go-to every single time i go and my friend Alyssa also really loves this wrap so we go quite a bit and i would highly recommend checking it out if you haven't so that is everything that i ate today i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i did want to say that this is definitely not a typical day of eating for me. I find that generally when I eat out more, the things that I eat aren't quite as healthy as they would be if I were cooking them at home, but that's just because home cooked food is generally always healthier anyways. Um, but you know, every once in a while, it's good to eat out. It's also nice to see that there are so many options, especially in the city, so I am grateful for that. Um, and I did also wanna make a note that a lot of times when you're eating these sort of convenience items, like the oat pack that I showed you guys, as well as the red bars, that sometimes there's a little bit more waste involved, but um, 
um, you know, you have to do what you have to do when you want to be prepared and you don't have time to even meal prep. You should have a couple things on hand that you can really grab and go and take with you um, and it just makes a world of difference in terms of being prepared and being able to eat what you want to eat. I don't know if anyone else has experienced this, but especially when I travel, I find that sometimes the vegan options aren't exactly things that I want to eat. So for example, french fries or just like a whole loaf of bread. It's great that there's a vegan option, but it's not quite nutritious and something that I really want to eat and it's going to make me feel good. So I prefer to have my own things on hand and that does generate a little bit of waste, but to me it's worth it and I try my best to stay away from that 99% of the time otherwise. Being prepared is always key, so personally I travel with a ton of snacks in my bag. Like if anyone ever stops me and opens up my bag, I have tons of bars, tons of snacks. Um, that's also because I'm a super snacker. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I went off on a little bit of a tangent there, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another one very, very soon. I